Hi, I'm Sam Orlich, a product specialist here in Madrid, Spain for Heritage Audio. Today I'll be talking about the MCM82. This is a true transformer based voltage summing mixer for 500 series modules. Alrighty, let's go over the connections on the back panel of the MCM82. Okay, as you'll see, we've got XLR gold plated inputs and outputs here as well as outputs 1 through 8 balance and inputs 1 through 8 balance on D sub 25 connectors. Uh, this is the, it follows the Tascam protocol. You also have the aux inputs here, hard panned left and right. Great for daisy chaining a few of these units together. And then finally, the master bus outputs right here, left and right. Okay, for connecting this guy, first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab the power supply, slip that in here, make sure this thing is running okay now if you're just using this as a 500 series enclosure and you want to insert a signal what you do you just take an xlr cable coming from your DAW most likely but it could be coming from your tape machine or from wherever plug the male end right there into the input and then grab another xlr cable slip the female end into the output and you've got an inserted signal into your path. Now, not only is this an enclosure for 500 series modules, but as we mentioned, this is also a fantastic summing mixer. So if you're using that feature, then you're gonna also wanna access the outputs here on the stereo outputs. So what you do is grab another XLR cable, take the female end, slip that in there, take the male end of that cable, and you're going to want to hit your sound card and you just slip that into the input on your sound card. Okay, as we're just demonstrating here, I'll just be connecting one, but obviously for stereo operation, you would connect the two of these outputs. Okay, that should do it. Okay, now I'll be going over the different features for the MCM82. Now, as we mentioned, this is not only an enclosure rack for 500 series modules, but it's also a 10 channel summing mixer. Well, you say 10 channels, but there's only eight here. Well, that's because there's actually an additional two aux inputs on the back, hard panned left and right, which is great if you wanna insert something to the summing bus that doesn't require any processing, or also for daisy chaining several of these units together. Okay. Now each of these individual module slots here has its own control on a dual concentric potentiometer for volume as well as panning with a center detent. They also have two buttons. One is simply on, which allows the signal to flow onto the master fader. And the other one is labeled 500. And what that does is it activates the 500 series module that you have inserted. It's great for, it's a quick way of bypassing to compare the signal with the processing or without processing. Now, this unit does follow our OST design, Onslaught technology, which simply means that each module has its own individual power supply, which is great to eliminate any possible troubles with power consumption or any noise that can be added. Maybe there's so many different manufacturers nowadays than so many different designs that sometimes combining different modules can create some problems common on other lunchbox designs. Nonetheless, with our OST design, that's eliminated. Okay, so once these signals are combined, they flow onto the stereo fader, which once again is our famous Class A transformer balance design. And also one other thing to mention, includes these nicely illuminated VU meters. I should mention, obvious, this is pretty obvious, but these, these modules are not included. It's just this, the MCM82 is just the rack unit itself. We've installed these just for demonstration purposes. Also could have easily slipped in a, a nice preamp here, or you can put anything in here. In this case, we've actually just simply outfitted it with our 73 EQ juniors. But like I said, you can slip anything in there. Okay, well, we hope we've been able to answer any questions or doubts you may have had about this unit. Nonetheless, 
always feel free to get in contact with us through our webpage at Heritage Audio. We'd also like to mention that in the same series, our mixer series, we also have two other units, the MCM 20.4 and the MCM 32.